Hi everyone, if you want to see all the videos about this course, you just need to go into my YouTube, YouTube channel, then go into the playlist, and here there you go, you have all the courses in this file, HTB Fiori Test Training, okay, thank you. Breaking systems, breaking systems, okay, let's do time to first one, is saying a breaks, okay, a breaks great air brakes show information about the air brakes how to use them safely and what what problems can occur with them get air brakes if your vehicle has air brakes and after starting your engine the brakes or warning light comes on it shows there is a sl there's low air pressure don't release the parking brake as the service brakes may not stop you if the air brake warning light comes on while you drive then stop and get 40 tickets in cold fro and cold frosty uh, frosty weather mystery may 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 freeze and um the conan cause well and cause a block edge in the air brake system to prevent this you should Try and uh, drain the tanks daily uh, before driving an unfamiliar vehicle. You may need to drain, drain, drain the air brakes in case of mystery in the air, air tanks. This simplifies diagram. Diagram shows an air brake system costing downhill seriously affects the incorrect working of the air brakes. What's that? Costing downhill series of effects. The correct working, the correct working of the air brakes. Okay. Next lesson. Next lesson is about what? Explain. Oh, next lesson is about anti-lock brakes. Okay, anti-lock brakes. Explain how anti-lock brakes help. How to use them correctly and what they should be checked often. Anti-lock brakes help you to. Stop an emergency as as it allow you to steer while you're braking to maintain steering control. If your vehicle has anti lock anti lock brakes, check them before each journey. If you have anti lock brakes, use them use 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 the brakes in the usual way. Pumping the brakes pedal will reduce effectiveness when braking when braking in an emergency apply film film continuous pressure until the vehicle has stopped has stopped if you don't have an anti-lock brakes if you don't have an anti-lock brakes you can prevent wheels lock through rapid pumping of the brakes pedal which is called cadence braking next lesson show what to do if another lorry is taking is taking a long time to overtake you okay Let's go there. Listen, begin overtaking. If you are on the on the two lines motorway, a lorry is overtaking you, but it doesn't have the speed to pass. Be prepared to reduce your speed. It's allow to allow the lorry to overtake you and stop the road becoming con con congested. Okay, next lesson. Let's see and the details what the main cause of brakes fade and 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 brake fade is and how to avoid it. Brake fade. Brake fade is a uh, reduce of braking effectiveness and is caused by braking overheating through continuous use and is likely a long likely a long downhill gradient. To help avoid the brake help brake fade, change to the lower here and 
use the endorsement break before going on downhill gradient. Select the appropriate appropriate head. Okay. Great. Explain how you should test your brakes after driving through a float. If you have to drive through a float, once you have cleared it, you should test your brakes by driving in the low here with the with the with the foot brake lightly apply. Okay, next lesson. What it is about show how to increase your efficiency of your engine when you when driving down a hill and down as a speed hill. Okay, if you're driving down a speed hill, try and keep your rep counter in the blue band as it, it this will increase the efficiency 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 of your vehicle engine braking. Great next lesson. Explain where you will find an escape lane and what they are used for. You will find an escape lane on the on the steep hill. They are an emergency area for use if you break fail. Don't use for any other reasons. Okay. Next, listen. Explain why some vehicles have exhausted, exhausted brake, and in what situation they are most efficient. Some vehicles have exhausted brakes to stop service brakes overheating. They give the greatest efficiency at high engine speed in low hills, like when descending along a long hill. Explain what a check brake is and how it works. A check brake is an additional method of slowing a vehicle down. It alters the bow, the bow, the bow the timing in the vehicle engine, which holds the vehicle speed. Okay, makes sense. Explain the main lorry braking system now and show what each color line means on three ways braking system. Okay. The 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 three main the three main lorry braking system are the service brake, the second the secondary brake and the parking brakes. On the three ways braking system, an auxiliary line is blue, the service line is yellow. And the emergency line is red. On a two lines a brake system, you don't you don't get an auxiliary line. Give information about driving an articulated lorry on or trailer. On a lorry drawn bar com combination, trailer swing swing is more swing is Swing is more likely when braking on the, on a bend, when all over steering at the speed and and if if the brakes are out of adjustment, when driving a lorry and a trailer, changing to the lower hair, when going too fast can cause the vehicle to jack knife, and the vehicle to jack knife. Articulated vehicle are more likely to jack knife when unladen unladed unladed when braking sharply and when it's on a bend. Okay. Next one. Show what to do if connecting a tractor unit to the trail to the to, to the trailer when one has a uh, when, when one has two airlines and the other has three okay yeah when you, when, you, when connecting a tractor unit to a trailer if one has two airlines 
and the another the another one has three headlines. Leave the blue auxiliary headlines. Give example of when you switch on different logs and remi and reminder reminder to switch it off after it has been used. Okay, when driving on a moody site, switch on your diff lock as it makes the wheels less likely to speed. If if you get stuck on snow, use the diff lock to move off. Switch in, switch it off once you are moving. Show how, show you shows you how to control the speed when driving down as a speed hill. Okay, driving down speed hill when driving a a, a large vehicle uh, down a speed hill. Change to the lower here here and use the endorsement brakes to help control your speed. Explain what is an endorsement endorse brakes is and gives information on how how and when to use it safely. Endorse endorsement brakes. Endorse brakes retire is a system to controlling speed without using the foot brakes by increasing engine brakes or using an extra transmission device. Electromagnetic endorsement brakes apply res apply resistance to the transmission and endorsement brakes will not combine with a, with a foot brakes. You should not you no, should be used on a downhill slopes to avoid the brakes overheating and control the vehicle speed when using um, those brakes take extra care on slippery roads and and snow covering hills to avoid to avoid the drive wheels locking if your vehicle has a uh, retarded brakes this will help to reduce well 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 um, on the brakes leaning Next, explain explain how you should approach a pen if you're driving a full a fully laden vehicle. Laden vehicle. Driving a fully laden vehicle. Yeah, when when dealing with pens, all braking should be should be smooth and a good time when while driving on a straight line or driving on a straight line next lesson yes showed show that if you if your vehicle has you hydraulic hydraulic air assistant 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 brakes you should check the fluid level regular regularly and show how to tell if there is a problem with the brake system. Okay, if your vehicle has is fitted with a, a hydraulic with a hydraulic brake system, before every journey, always check the hydraulic brake fluid level. When the brake pedal is pressed, if it goes down too much, this one, this may be not there is may not be enough brake fluid. If if your vehicle is fitted with air assisting hydraulic brakes, a buzzer of light will warm you when there is an insufficient air in the system. If the brakes feel hard when pressed, it is a warning sign that the vacuum pump is not working. And that's all.
thanks for watching this video um sorry about my english is not really good but at least i can show you all the course about uh hba okay the topic is it, it, it the topic of this one is hydraulics breaks okay uh, oh no no it's not it's a braking system sorry braking system okay see you in my next video subscribe give a like okay and comment thank you